Hey friends, welcome back. It's Kasha. Thanks for joining me today. Oh jeez. So here's a video I've been putting off for a while and I simply cannot be putting it off any longer because, well, uh, I'm going to be moving this week, so it would be really silly to uh, move a bunch of, a big box of my trash to my new apartment. My, it's very exciting, it's my very first apartment that is like my own. You know, I've roomed before a couple times, but I've never had my very own place. I'm so excited. Without any further ado, let me just go ahead and get into uh, my big old box of trash. There's a lot of stuff in here, so grab a snack, it's going to be a while. Uh, I guess the first thing I'll go over is just a bunch of uh, wait, empties of baby wipes. These are my favorite right here, the natural huggies. Um, I use these to clean up swatches and like clean my hands between clients when I work. So there's that. I got two containers of the Neutrogena makeup remover towelettes. Um, these are just the ones I keep in my kit to clean my palettes with. I hardly ever need to use makeup wipes to clean off my clients, but once in a while they do come in handy for that. Um, and they're mostly just to clean off my tools and clean off my palettes. And uh, yeah, I definitely get refills of those all the time. Um, the, I, like I said, the Huggies are my favorite. I buy them in bulk a lot of the time, and same with the Neutrogena makeup wipes. I buy them in bulk, but I think I might actually switch to some different- I might try some different wipes next time, but I, I still do have two backups of the Neutrogena wipes because they're cheap. I buy them in bulk, they're good. They, they work. thing I got in here is um, an empty of my Shiseido facial cotton pads. Um, I do have- I did already repurchase this and I think I'm going to continue to repurchase these forever because they're they're just good. They've, they're so soft, like I can't really put anything else on my face ever again. And what's also another thing, good thing about them is that they don't absorb as much product as other cottons do. Speaking of cotton, I just have an empty of the Ulta cotton pads. I have several empties of these, but I think it's the only one I kept together, ones I just kind of threw away. And I use these on clients, and I also use them when I do henna to clean off the hands. Many oils before I do the henna, and you know, to clean up mistakes and stuff, so Ulta cotton pads, I use those all the time. Next, I have an empty of, oh, I have a couple here, an empty of the Glamour multi-pack from uh, Ardell Lashes. These, I think, came in a pack of four, and I emptied those out. And I also have an empty here, I, I have tons of empties of these, but these are the Ardell Demi Wispies. I use these when I freelance constantly. These are probably the most popular ones when I freelance. Here I have an empty of the Sephora Coconut Hair Sleeping Mask, Coconut Hair Sleeping Mask. I thought this was pretty good. I think I might rebuy this one day. Uh, I did find that it was, it did soften my hair. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty cool. This is a pretty recent empty. This is um, my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I have a travel size of this still, so I'm not going to be repurchasing it, repurchasing it right away. And I also just bought a Scandinavia Setting Spray, which apparently is just like this one. As you can tell, this is the older packaging, so I've had this for a little bit of a while. But I finally emptied it emptied it out and I love this. This is a really good setting spray. It does make your makeup last real good. Here I have just a Dove Baby Body Wash. Unscented. Unscented. It's for sensitive skin. I buy unscented sensitive skin body washes a lot. Now I'm using an Aveeno one and I like the baby formulas because I know that they're going to be gentle. And I just use these for the to shave my bikini area. Um, I like this because it's hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, sensitive, and yeah, it hasn't given me any problems for using it for that purpose thus far. So I uh, like this, I might purchase it again. Right now I have an Aveeno one that I'm working on, but this is really good. Right here I have an empty of the Dermacell Moisturizer Skin My Skin Treatment Original Lotion. This is one dollar. This bottle is one dollar at the Dollar Tree. It was actually recommended to me by my dermatologist. It's a really good 
moisturizer for sensitive skin and my dermatologist recommended it to me to help relieve some of my psoriasis on my legs. And it works. It's really good. It doesn't smell like anything. It's like fragrance free, which is usually a good thing for your skin. Fragrances can irritate your skin and it's hypoallergenic, controls even severe dry skin. Ooh. And yeah, one dollar. Can't go wrong. Dermacil. Dollar Tree. Dermatologist recommended. <laughs> I go through a ton of body lotions. A ton of them. This one I got at iMats years ago. Should I show you that they're empty? Yeah, I, trust me, they're all empty. When things are empty for me, they're really empty. Like I scrape the sides of things because I don't want to have to buy things again, you know? And I go through a lot of body lotion because of my sensitive dry skin. Um, every time I get out of the shower, I lotion up my entire body. Um, this is the Hawaiian Moon Aloe body lotion. I got this at iMats and it was good. I used it all over. I even put some in my scalp because it was supposed to help heal psoriasis. However, it's not my favorite product for that purpose. Like I've used other body lotions that I thought were way better than this, but this was pretty good. I have this one. I have this one and I also have a mini. Um, and I think I have a, I had another mini that I emptied out too, so these are all empty. They are good, they definitely helped soothe my psoriasis, but it was, it was kind of like, I, there were products out there that are better for that. And it's very lightweight, sinks right into the skin, it was nice, but not my favorite. I'll tell you what is my favorite right now. Well, actually, I'm gonna wait. Another great body lotion that I've loved was this one. That's the Josie Maran Honey Drip Body Lotion, Body Butter, and that's nice and empty. I, I do have, I did repurchase this, and I am currently working through. Um, I'm halfway through my backup right now. Um, this is really good. It helps soothe my psoriasis. It's it, you know, I get really really dry skin in the winter, and it definitely keeps me nice and supple and moisturized and I like that it's a little bit of thicker of a texture. It really kind of, it is a bomb for your body. Um, and I think honey as an ingredient is really restorative and really good and I think that's a big reason behind why this lotion is really good. However, I don't know if I'll ever rebuy it again. I bought it that, rebought it that one time. I probably will rebuy it one again one day, you know, during a Sephora sale or something. It is more expensive and it's a small container compared to some of the other body lotions I've used. For instance, I'll show you. Here's another Big Mama that I used up. This is the Sephora Whipped Body Moisturizer. This was fine and uh, like I say, when I use something up, I really use it up. Look how empty that is. Then I show you my, my Honey Drip. This one's really empty as well. I scrape the sides, I scrape the top edges, I scrape all of it. Everybody at Sephora was talking up this moisturizer. They were saying that this is like a great body moisturizer. It's one of the best. It's cheaper, so you might as well just get this one. It was fine, but it didn't do a thing for my psoriasis. I don't know. I don't think it was enough for me. I don't think it provided enough moisturizing for me. So I, I don't think I'll be repurchasing this. But this was a pretty good value. It lasted me a long, long time. I prefer the Josie Muran, but... Something I prefer even more. I've gone through two of these little baby tubes. This is the Brazilian Babum Cream from Rio de Janeiro. Um, I had a container just like this that I got my Sephora gratis and then I also got this one in my Ipsy bag. And I love this. I love this. I think it does help soothe my psoriasis, but what's nicer about this body cream is that the smell is just so delicious it's just like this del it's a delicious coconutty vacation smell and it you know you when you rub it all in it does have a little bit of a sparkle so that's really sexy and i think it's supposed to be a little bit tightening so you know it's great to moisturize your beach body i really like this oh, let me start talking about my favorite moisturizer of all time this is the creme de rêve uh, or AKA Dream Cream. This one's in French because I bought it in Montreal. But this is the uh, Dream Cream Body Moisturizer uh, from Lush. And it's all, like I say, I use it all up. I scrape the sides. This is the best moisturizer for the body I've ever used. 
it cleared up my psoriasis completely and it's a, it's a little bit of an oily th thicker formula so it's really good for dry skin and it's and the ingredients it uses like rose water um, fruit oil some oat a lot of gentle sensitive ingredients so it's very calming lavender oil and it's sensitive enough that you could even use it on your face if you wanted to I didn't test that so much but I love this and I do have a back of it of it I'm waiting to go through my Josie Moran buddy butter for now but I can't wait to use this this is so exciting I love this another thing that goes hand in hand with that product was uh, to help clear up your psoriasis if you're someone that struggles with that is you need a really good body exfoliant and I loved this one and this one's pretty cheap too I think this is under ten dollars at Ulta this is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub and it's Hawaiian Kukui smell and it was it was such a delicious it was oh it brings back the memories of the summer because I used this all up in the summertime it is a really good body exfoliant. It's oily enough that the um, that the sugar doesn't break down right away, so you can exfoliate really well without the sugar evaporating on you. And the smell is just, mm. and it's usually brown. But you can't tell because this is a clear. The only problem with this is that I use this in the summer and. Um, you have to put it away really well. You have to wrap it up because you'll get fruit flies because of this. But it did wonders for my skin. It definitely helped to clear up my skin from psoriasis and keep it nice and soft and cleansed and fresh and awesome. So I really love this. Um, I guess I'll just quickly mention some of the vitamins that I take. This is just like a regular everyday woman's multivitamin. <laughs> Here's another woman's multi. Uh, I like to eat the gummies because it's like a little treat, you know? It's a little treat. And uh, something I really believe in um, that I, I think everybody ought to do every day is take probiotics. I started taking them in the summer because I had this terrible cold that lasted months and it wouldn't go away. And I think the thing that finally helped me get better and like helped my immune system fight back is probiotics. I think, I don't know, pro taking some high quality probiotics, not just any, some high quality ones, like some uh, something that's uh, several billion strains, these are 50 billion. I think that's really going to help improve your immune system and help you process food quicker and stuff like that. And I had another one that I finished up while I was in Europe, so I just threw that one away. Um, I don't know if I'd buy this brand again. Uh, I'm trying to try out other ones, but any any probiotic that's like s at least 30 billion strains, I think would be really good. Um, and this one has worked for me. This helped me get better. Um, so I like that one a lot. This is something that was recommended to me by my doctor. This is a high quality um, high potency vitamin D. Yeah, my doctor just recommended it to me because of, uh, you know, bone strength and it helps you fight cancer apparently and helps you improve your mood. You know, vitamin D, it's really good for you. Helps you absorb ca calcium. But don't take too much because you can overabsorb calcium and then you get constipated and, and there's a ton of other problems with that too. So, uh, Take vitamin D, but not too much. <laughs> Here's a pretty good one that was that really kind of surprised me. This is the Sephora waterproof makeup remover. It's just the you know the blue one. It's totally empty as you can see. I think I wouldn't be able to get that out if I tried. <laughs> I do have a travel size of this too, and it's a really good waterproof makeup rem remover, especially because this bottle is like fourteen dollars. So I think it was a really good value. However. It's not as good of a makeup remover as this other empty. This one's the Lancome. This one's almost empty. I'm sharing it with you though because I want to just be able to throw it away rather than wait for the next empties video. Um, but there's only, there's about like three uses left in this. This little bottle actually lasted me a long time. Uh, like, I think I got like two months worth out of this bottle. Anyway, this is the Lancome Bifacial Waterproof Makeup Remover, and this is amazing. It's like, it's the best, it's the best makeup remover, and I'd like to buy that again. 
this one I still have a travel size one of, but it's gonna, and I have uh, Clinique take off the day makeup remover that I'm trying to get through still, so it's gonna be a while before I repurchase any makeup remover, but you know, these are good. I like these. This is an empty firm a while back. This is uh, the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I really like this. It doesn't foam, but it's a really gentle cleansing formula that doesn't over dry your skin. My boyfriend hated this though. He used a little bit of it uh, while we were in living in LA. And uh, he, he has very oily skin, so it didn't really cleanse him quite well enough. I really liked it, and I do have a mini of it still that I will be using because I like that cleanser. And yeah, right now I'm not going to purchase any new cleansers because I've got plenty to work through, including a mini of this. Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I love fresh products. It's so good. Oh, here's a product I hated, actually, and I'm so, I was so glad when I finally had used it up. This is the La Vanilla Vanilla uh, Healthy Deodorant. I didn't like this. It smells pretty. It's got a, and I didn't fully use it up just because, I don't know, I, it's not something I care to scoop out of there and rub it all over my armpits uh, and doesn't twist up anymore. When you twist it down, it goes way down. Um, and it smelled pretty and, you know, it was good, but it didn't, I don't know, keep me fresh all day. Like it kind of, stopped working after like two hours, you know, days are longer than two hours. So I'm kind of on the hunt for a aluminum, aluminum free healthy deodorant. Right now I just use like the, like the Old Spice gel formula and, the, and then, you know, in the ingredient list it doesn't list aluminum, so I think that's good. But I'd like to use something a little bit more organic, a little bit nicer, you know. Uh, so if you have an, if you have a recommendation for a good aluminum-free uh, deodorant, let me know down in the comments because I am on the hunt. I need to find out. <laughs> I have a couple of these um, Dr. Dennis Gross uh, daily peels. I have a ton more, but I think I threw away the rest. These were really good. I love these. I have a giant box of these still. Um, and they're such a good chem chemical, physical exfoliator. It just, it gives you like a new skin kind of feel. So I really recommend these, the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. I just use the regular, not the extra strength, because I'm, you know, I'm older, I'm 27, you know, I'm officially at that age where my cells are, are dying faster than they're being renewed. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I'm still not, you know, terribly wrinkly, so I'm not trying to get the extra strength peel pads. <laughs> Here I have a mask. This is the Pure Elise Green Tea and Ginger Re Rejuvenated Sheet Mask. This was really nice. I think I actually used it on a day where I was hungover and it was like really soothing and nice. And it was, you know, it's just a, it says it's moisturizing and de detoxifying. I think it did that too, so that was really good. Um, here's another Pure Elise mask. This one's the Coconut Rice and Nourishing Sheet Mask. This one's moisturizing and soothing. I prefer this one because I just like products that are a little bit more moisturizing and I thought this was great. So another Pure Lease mask. This one is the um, hashtag primer mask. I got this in my Ipsy bag. I also got those other ones in my Ipsy bags. I don't think I'll repurchase any of these masks, but actually I might repurchase this one. This one I really liked. It's a, it's a, I got this in my Ipsy bag. It's a hashtag primer sheet mask and I thought and you know, it's supposed to help prep your skin in the perfect way to make your makeup look better and last longer. And I think it totally did that. Like my, I had a really good makeup day when I used this. So I really like this. I have another one that I'm kind of waiting for a special occasion to use, but I really like this. This is a packet of uh, an argan oil from Morocco deep repairing conditioner mask for your hair. I get like five uses out of these because my hair's so thin. I have like no hair. But I got like five uses out of this and I thought this was pretty good. It was really nice and moisturizing but nothing incredibly groundbreaking but it was very moisturizing and I like this. I'd, I'd probably pick it up again someday but I have other ones I'm trying to use. Another one that was like that was this Bumble and Bumble um, overnight damage repair mask. Oh, I could probably get one more use out of this. A little my hair right now. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know if I like that actually. I don't think this was enough um, of a use to get to know it 
very well. Like, I, I don't feel like after using this for three or four uses, I don't think I could form enough of an opinion about it either way. I guess right off the bat, you can say that it's nothing groundbreaking, um, but it could be for somebody. But I, you know, I just feel like I needed a little bit more um, use with this to really kind of notice a difference, you know. This is uh, a Batiste dry shampoo. This one's the tropical scent. Really good dry shampoo, and I really like this tropical scent too. Um, and I did repurchase this, but I got it in the natural scent, and then I got uh, also was having like a two f two for one special, and I had like a strength and shine kind of dry shampoo that I picked up. But I thought this was really good. I used it a lot over the summertime, and obviously it's an empty. Here is another dry shampoo empty. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo. This is really high quality. I think this really does a good job of giving your hair more volume and sucking up the oils and making them look like a fresh shampoo. I like this a lot, and I do have a backup. I have a mini and a big one. I uh, uh, like that one a lot. <sighs> talking a lot, talking a lot. So many empties, oh my goodness. Here is another mask that I tried out. This was another one that I got in my Ipsy bag. This is just like a like a PM mask. I used it once and luckily it came with two. Um, I haven't tried the other one yet and I, I think I'm going to need to try it again to get a real uh, opinion of it. But so far I can, I can at least say it didn't break me out or cause any problems. So, so far so good. But I think I'll need to try it again to get an opinion of it mask. Oh my gosh, some of these are dirty. These have been kicking around in my empties box forever. This is uh, the uh, Say Yes to the to Tomatoes charcoal cleansing mask. I thought this was really nice. This was really clarifying. I don't have a lot of pimple problems. I have other problems. And a, a t detoxing mask can help me sometimes, especially if you have a psoriasis breakout. And I sometimes do get them on my face. I get them on my eyelid and um, in my hairline. Uh, it helps to use a clarifying mask to kind of restore the pH a little bit. Um, and I thought that this mask really helped my skin feel very clean and soft after I used it. So this was really cool. I like this a lot. Here's another Sephora hair sleeping mask. This is the Shea, uh, the Shea one. This one's supposed to be for like tea breakage. I don't know if it really helped me with anti-breakage. I preferred the coconut one. Um, so if I think if I were to repurchase these hair masks, I'd probably go for the coconut. You know, I'm kind of interested to see if, I don't know, the second time around my hair would be a little bit more used to it and it would work for anti-breakage a little bit better too. Because um, I am suffering with the breakage problems recently. <laughs> so um, there's that. Here's a tiny sample of the Aveda Damage Remedy. And I liked it and I actually did pick up backup of it. Just a trial size, um, and yeah, I did notice when I first started using it that it did uh, kind of, you know, restore my hair a little bit, but you can't overuse it because I think when, if you overuse it, it kind of starts to have the opposite effect, and this one's almost done too. Uh, the Aveda Damage Remedy, that was pretty cool. Let me know if you like this because, I don't know, let me know how you use it if you like it because I'd like to get that opinion. This is the Sebastian Super Plus Travel Hairspray, Extra Hold Hairspray. It's just like another, nothing, I, I don't think this is anything groundbreaking. I just picked it up because I needed something in my hair kit that was small. Holds your, it holds your hair, but I definitely prefer my Kenra hairspray over this one. This is the Sephora Dry Clean Brush Cleaner. I really like this. What it is, is it's just like a brush cleaner but it's super it, it's not actually dry it's not like a dry shampoo for your brushes it, it is a little bit wet but it dries super quick um, and it does a good job cleaning off the brushes so i really like this another brush cleaner that i enjoyed was this beauty so clean brush cleaner this is a condition this is the conditioning brush cleaner i really don't know the difference between the conditioning and the other ones wipeout is my favorite though but yeah i used this one all up and i and I have a wipeout that I'm using, and I bought a backup of the wipeout brush cleaner from Beauty So Clean during IMATS. You can check out 
check that out in my IMATS haul that I just posted last week. Uh, link down below, I suppose. I'll add that in. Another Beauty Soaking brush cleaner is this Honey Bunny brush cleaner. Um, I got this at IMATS years ago, and this one's just a mini. The, the sprayer broke on this one, so that was really annoying to deal with after a while. Yeah, this was a, another good brush cleaner, and, I, and this one's scented, I suppose. I don't know. The, a, a special effects makeup empty. This is an empty of Monster Paste. I actually have two jars just like this. Um, and yeah, this is just a medium to make uh, special effects transfers. Like, um, I have these molds here. You fill up your molds with these. These are like scratches. You um, can make special effects 3D like prosthetics with these. And I have two of them just like that that I used up and I need to pick up some more. Um, I'm definitely going to be picking up some more because I it is a really convenient way of having some prosthetics that are very realistic ready to go in your kit. Here's another recent empty. I brought this on my Europe trip with me. And I finally just used it up when I brought it back home. This is the Cake Heavy Cream Body Moisturizer. This is so hard to get out of this tube. It's so thick. You have to just really squeeze to get it all out there. And as you can see, you know, I crush these like hard. Like I go, I like to do one of these to get all the product out. <laughs> Um, and yeah, that was really hard. I really had to put some elbow grease to get all the product out, but it is it's a really rich Sweet scent. It is a very heavy like good moisturizer definitely like adds moisture to your skin But it, this the scent is crazy for me Because at first it smells really clean like really sweet and cake like and then like your your nose kind of gets sick of it and it starts to smell like moldy or something um, but you know, I asked my boyfriend if he sensed that and he said no. He's just like, I don't know what you're talking about, but I still liked it. I just, you know, it made me feel crazy because of the way the scent kind of changed for me. Not like, I don't think the scent actually got moldy. It's just that my nose was receiving it that way because it got like, um, I don't know, it tapped out, <laughs> it, like tapped out of the smell, you know? My battery's about to die, so let me go change that. Here's a recent empty that took me a long time because I'd only take it traveling. Um, this is the Purity Made Simple Cleanser. It's just like the yellow one. I like this. It, it's like, it's got a nice like patchouli scent and it does cleanse your skin pretty well. It's not drying at all. It doesn't really foam. I am a little bit iffy about some of the ingredients in here. So I think I'm gonna, definitely going to be... Oh yeah, there's pear. There's parabens in this, so I'm gonna hold off on buying this one for a while, especially because I've got so many other great cleansers that I'm working on, and um, it's, this one's just not one of my holy grails. But I, it was fun to try this one out, um, and it was nice. But yeah, I'm probably not gonna be repurchasing this one. Here's another recent empty. This is the Skin & Co. Facial Toner Truffle Therapy. I really like this. I really love the scent. It had like a little bit of a nutty kind of scent. Uh, I don't know if truffle is good for your skin, but I really like the way it toned. It made me feel really fresh. This is actually kind of the first toner I've ever used. I never really believed in toners before. I never really understood what they were supposed to do. But, you know, I'm starting to get it now a little bit more, and I really like this. And I think there's other toners I'd like to try first, but I could see myself using this again one day. This is the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior. Uh, two-in-one moisturizer serum. Whoopsie. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I think I, have I said I like this about every product? I definitely feel like it did firm the skin a little bit. Um, however, I think this tube isn't enough to really get a good sense of that. I would say that I don't think that it's moisturizing enough. Um, and for me, I think that's really important for anti-aging to moisturize because I think the drier your skin is, the more stressed it gets and the more wrinkly and aged it gets, you know what I mean? And people who are oily, they don't really have to deal with wrinkles the way dry people do, you know? They are, you know, not as soon as le at least. This is okay, but I'm probably not going to repurchase this. I might, I might pick it up again if it's a perk, if it was ever another perk at uh, Sephora. So, there's that. Here's another recent empty. This is the Cuddly Venusaur Creme Sorbet. Creme Sorbet Hydrant. Um, that was really bad. I swear I can speak better French than that. But this was a really nice 
um, refreshing light moisturizer. I think um, oily, pe oily people would really like this, but I think it is actually moisturizing enough even for dry people. It's a good summertime moisturizer, I would say. I would l like to pick this up again one day, but you know, I've got like a million moisturizers I gotta go through first, but I like this a lot. I might pick that up again one day. There's so much trash in here that it's like all, all my stuff is like dirty. <laughs> This is the KMS Moist Repair, like, damage spray. I don't remember what I re remember about about this. Ooh, there's more. <gasps> oh no, I got some on my backdrop. No. I'm probably not gonna buy this again because I don't really remember if it worked, you know? It's very unmemorable. Not groundbreaking stuff whatsoever. You can't tell because I've had this for a while and I traveled with it quite a bit, but this is the Drunk Ele Elephant uh, Luxury Facial Marula Oil. Um, I love this and I have the $70 bottle of sitting over there. This is such a game changer. My skin is so different after using this. And every time my skin feels a little dry, feels a little f weird, feels a little unbalanced, I use that oil and it brings me back to square one. It's if you're dry. You have to pick up a marula oil. I'd like to try another mar marula oil. I'm brightening up the light because it seems it's getting dim out there. And it's getting dark outside. I'd like to try other mar marula oils, but I, I still have half of my bottle over there. Plus all the other oils I rotate. This is really fun. Love, love this, love it. This is a weird little thing that I picked up for traveling. This is a the Trek and Travel body wash strips. They're kind of like Listerine packs that you pull out. There was 50 sheets in there and you rub, in a, rub them all over your body. And they're, they're a convenient way to pack body wash because it's not actually a liquid and it's really small and packs really easily. I'm probably not gonna buy this again just because I might as well just use a regular body wash. Um, I picked this up years ago when I went to Backpack Europe and I was really trying to conserve space in my bag. And yeah, that's basically what this is good for if you're really trying to conserve space in your bag. It doesn't really have any skin benefits or anything like that. It does get you clean, but you kind of need to use several packs. And I don't know how people are supposed to do this because, you, you know, you can't Put your wet hands in there so you have to dry off your hands to pull out a, sh a couple sheets because if you get moisture in there all of the all the packs will like melt together so probably not going to pick this up again unless i'm doing another crazy backpacking trip where i'm moving every couple of days this was fun this is fun this here is the glam glow thirsty mud hydrating treatment um it's the blue one it's like brown inside. I eventually I think gave up on it. Yeah, I think there's like one more use in there, but I gave up on it because it was getting to be kind of old. Um, it is really really hydrating. That kind of feels like mud on your face and it's really hydrating, but I think my marula oil is a little way better at hydrating than this, so I probably won't be picking this up again. And I'm glad I just got the little container because these are expensive. And you know, if something's gonna be that expensive, you better love it the way I love my drunk elephant. Marula oil. <laughs> Something I kind of, this isn't really an empty, but I've kind of given up on it. I got this in my Sephora gratis. This is the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Um, and I hate this. <laughs> yeah, it's still pretty, like, w moist. You can still kind of use it. But it breaks my lashes off. I can't get it off my eyes. And it's clumpy. It doesn't even look pretty. Like, I don't like this mascara. I haven't tried the regular formula. It's much better, but I, this, I did not like. I didn't like it. Here's uh, the MJ Creams Calm Lavender Chamomile Marijuana Body Lotion. It doesn't have any psychoactive effects. I bought this in Toronto. It's supposed to be like a really calming body butter. This was 30 Canadian, I think. And you know, for such a small jar, I definitely don't think I'm gonna be picking it up again. Though, um, it was nice, but, you know, there's so many other body lotions that like way better than this. This was, this was gimmicky more than anything. Just this is the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. Um, I think I used up a couple of these. I think I like this better than, um, the KMS one I showed you earlier. 
but it's still nothing groundbreaking for me. I still don't love this, so I definitely don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this. Something I'd love to repurchase one day because I love this, but it's really expensive and I'm not, I'm not so old that I need a ton of anti-aging stuff just yet in my life, but I really like this. Um, this is the Drug Elephant C Firma Vitamin C Serum. I think when the sale comes around in December at Sephora, I think I will buy a bottle of this because I really love this. It really, there's, I don't think I've ever used anything so brightening on my face and it is a little bit tightening and yeah, I'm not getting any younger, I'm only getting older. By the time that sale comes around, I'm going to be 28. So old. Uh, I think I'm going to pick this up. I really like this a lot. This stuff is great. This is a Aveda Damage Red Rem Remedy Split End Repair Sample. And I like this. I think it does repair split ends, but it, I'm trying out some other stuff right now to see if that works. So, come here. This is the Verb Deep Hydrating Hair Mask. This was not really anything special. It's nice. It's basically just like any conditioner, any deep conditioner. I don't think I'll be repurchasing it just because I don't, it didn't blow me away. There's other conditioners I've used out there that I've preferred over this one. Um, so I don't think I'll be repurchasing it, but it's nice. This is the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum um, Primer thingy. I thought that this was pretty cool. It's like kind of like a silicone primer that you can use as a sunscreen and yeah, it's 30 SPF and it blurs, it smooths out your skin. And this is pretty cool. And I do have another mini of this. So I'm going to be using that before I think about maybe repurchasing it. I have so much sunscreen that I, I don't think I need to buy any more sunscreen for like two years. So it's going to be a while before I repurchase any of that. Full tubes of toothpaste, got to brush those teeth, you know, hygiene, keep those cavities at bay. Um, somebody recommend me like a good, um, Toothpaste, like something better than Crest. I like Crest, but I don't know. What toothpaste do you like that you use? Tell me about. Tell me about it. I don't. I don't really care about anything except like healthy gums. I think healthy gums is my main priority when it comes to teeth, because my I have weak, sad, um, painful, not painful, <laughs> but weak, sad like gums that get infected pretty easily. Not gonna lie, I should really floss more. I floss. I floss. But I should floss more. Everybody should floss more. I love this. Um, this is the Perez Greek Yogurt Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. It's just a little mini and I have another mini waiting to go but I love this. It's moisturizing and it's calming and soothing. It smells great and it primes your makeup. This is really really good stuff um, and I'm waiting to go through some more of it. So to go with that, I have the Carez Wild Rose Night Treatment, um, like advanced brightening sleeping facial. This is really nice too. It smells really good. This one's like a rose scent. The other one was like a like a cleaner yogurt scent. And I do find that this is really brightening. Um, I like this a lot. And I like I like brightening stuff on my skin. I don't know why. I like to experiment with brightening stuff. I don't think my skin's terribly dull. Maybe it's because I use a lot of brightening stuff. But I like this, and I would repurchase. I have set, I have two backup. I have another mini, and then I have like a medium-sized one that's like this big of this. So it's gonna be a while before I repurchase that, and I'm gonna continue to use those. I use this moisturizer a lot in LA. Well, not a lot, but like enough to use up this little container. This is the City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. It's an, I guess it's a nighttime moisturizer. I only use it at nighttime, but I really like the texture. I liked that my skin felt kind of clean in the morning when I used this. Um, and it was pleasantly moisturizing. It was very moisturizing. I liked it a lot. There's an MT I used up so long ago that I, need, I don't even remember um, how it worked, but it's the Ultimate Miracle Worker Night Serum from Philosophy. Yeah, I don't remember anything about it. Oh, here's a makeup empty. I, I guess, yeah, you can definitely call this a makeup empty. You can't tell what this is because it's really down to the bottom, to the wire, but this is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL pencil. And I already have two backups of this because this is the best waterproof pencil on the market. Um, so yeah, that's why I used it up. <laughs> I have one for myself and one for my kit. Um, 
Here's another em here's another makeup empty. This is the Makeup Forever HD foundation in the shade 120 or Y245. And I do have a backup of this because this is my my first love when it comes to foundation. It was the first foundation I ever loved. I use it in my kit and I have a backup and I love this. It's such a good foundation. I love it so much. Here's another kit must have. I like to repurchase this one day. I have I still I have a mini of this, but this is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. The first time I tried this, I didn't really like it. Um, yeah, it's totally dried up. I thought it was a little bit too clumpy, and it, but it's like, but then when I I actually got this particular tube in my Sephora gratis, the second time I used it when it was like nice and fresh, I think maybe the first time I tried it, it must have been like dried up or something. There was something going on. I gave it another shot and it's like the best freelancing mascara because it's like a wetter formula. So when you go to stick your um, disposable wands in there, it really kind of gets coated really nicely. You need a, you need a wet mascara uh, for freelancing because drier mascaras don't really adhere to disposable wands like that. Um, so I really like this and I have a mini that I'm looking to use up, and yeah, love this. Here's another empty of the Demi Wispies from Ardell. I go through so many of these. Here's another body cream empty. This is another one from the Bum Bum Cream brand, but this one's the Asai body cream. Body power cream from Rio de Janeiro. Sol de, Sol de Janeiro, did I call that Rio de Janeiro? I'm silly. Well, um, I really like this one too. This was just like the Bum Bum Cream, but this one's uh, got a different scent. It comes out purple. Um, also another delicious scent. Like this one's a little bit more berry. The other one's a little bit more coconutty. Another really good one. Love this a lot. Here's another mascara empty. This is the NARS Audacious Mascara. I really don't like this at all. <laughs> Look at that wand. It like stab your eyes. Um, I think I'm just giving up on it because I never pick this up. Uh, yeah, you could probably still use this, but I, actually, it's it's good that I'm throwing it away because it's kind of old, and it just sucks. I hate this mascara. Definitely won't be repurchasing that one. Here's a little mini of my favorite Marc Jacobs lipstick. This is um, Marc Jacobs lip lipstick in uh, Slow Burn. Probably my favorite lipstick of all time. Actually, I use it on uh, when I do bridal all the time and like it's such a flattering col color on most people. We're getting down to the wire guys here. Uh, we're almost done. The last couple things I'm going to show you are almost empties. They're not quite empties but I wanted to share them with you now before I move so I can just throw those away when I'm done with them you know. This thing is something that I love. Um, this is the Fresh Cocoa Body Exfoliant. As you can see I'm pretty low, I'm almost empty. This is probably the most expensive body exfoliant I've ever used in my life and I actually preferred the other one. As far as exfoliation power goes, I preferred this um, Kukui Nut one exfoliated better. However, I don't know, this is really luxurious and I love the smell. Between using this and my L'Occitane um, almond oil shower gel. I just feel like I'm making myself into a little souffle in the shower. I'm making myself into a little chocolate cake. Um, it's It looks and feels and smells like you're rubbing chocolate cake all over your body. Um, and it does exfoliate, but not as intensely as I'd like to. So I probably won't be repurchasing this, but this was a lot of fun to use while it lasted. It's very luxurious. So if you want to treat yourself, you might want to get one of these. These are almost done. Actually, I got quite a bit of the conditioner left, but um, I've got like maybe three more uses of this left. These are the Paul Mitchell Strength Super Strong Shampoos. I bought these back in LA, but I kept switching uh, shampoos. So it took me a long time to get through these. I can't seem to tell if this, is, if this made my hair stronger at all. Um, I guess I certainly did make it weaker. I guess it didn't make it stronger, but it's nothing groundbreaking. I've got other shampoos I gotta get through still. I have a Fakai shampoo and conditioner that I'm getting through. I just ordered some Nioxin because I don't know if I've complained a lot on this channel about my the quality of my hair, but I hate my hair. It's really thin and breaky and I can't really do much with it, you know, so hopefully Nioxin will help me out. Um, I'm gonna finish these up though. 
I like that the, this is a clear shampoo because clear is a is better at cleaning my hair than, you know, colored shampoos usually are. These actually aren't almost empties, they're full empties, but these are two minis of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. They're both exactly the same. This is one of the best liquid eyeliners on the market, and I do have, I did repurchase these, I do have a big one now, after going through two little ones. Yeah, if you ever Sometimes they give these away as perks, like I think they were giving these out during iMats to as like a perk with order, with like whatever you buy. Um, so yeah, if you ever get a mini of these, if they're ever available as a, like a 100 point perk at Sephora, get them. Because they're worth it. They're good. They're worth They're good. Good stuff. Love the shit. This is a pretty much empty. I guess I could really scrape this if I really tried, but this is the House of Lashes lash glue is just like a mini in the clear version this is this kind this lash glue kind of changed my life so much better than the duo lash glue i have a bigger size of this and i also have another mini that's like a black one but this is some of the best lash glue i've ever used so i think i'm just gonna to toss this one out because it's really clumpy in there and i've been kind of scraping the sides for a while so it's time to just call it quits but i really like that a lot empty of a du uh, duo brush on lash glue but it's gone but yeah I used up a black duo brush on lash glue and I liked it it was good but I prefer the house of lashes so if I ever repurchase them it'd probably be a house of lashes one plus I have a I have a lily lashes glue that I'd like to try too that I just came with a set of lashes that I bought so I'm gonna be trying those before I rebuy anything else. This is an almost empty. This is a living proof restore mask treatment for your hair. And I really like this actually. I do feel like it, it, it does strengthen your hair. Um, I still have enough for one more use I think in here. I'll probably use tomorrow. Tomorrow's hair washing day. My hair is a little dirty. <laughs> That's why it's not up in a ponytail, but you know, whatever. I think I might repurchase this one day, but not right now because I still have lots of mask treatments that I'm using and I just bought some Nioxin and I'm going to be using that for a while. Yeah, res Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment. That was pretty good. This is an almost empty. This, there's probably like one or two uses left in this. This is the... I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that. <laughs> but this is the Jasmine Waterfall Sleeping Pack, and I got this in my um, Ipsy bag. It's like a really nice, lightweight, moisturizing overnight mask for your skin. And the smell is really lovely, and it does moisturize your skin really well. I actually prefer this over the Thirsty Med from Glam Glow. I like this better. It's a little bit more lightweight and just refreshing and nice and just, I don't know, feels good when you put it on before bed. I really like this a lot. Here's an almost empty, this is the Sugar Advanced Lip Treatment, just the clear one. This is a really good lip balm. Oh, I think I ruined it, whoopsie. I didn't roll it down last time I used it, so it might be an empty a little bit sooner than I thought. I kind of squished it. There was only like this much in there anyway. Uh, this is a really good lightweight lip balm that I'm almost out of. Sugar by Fresh. I love a lot. I love Fresh products. Like basically, all their products are good. Um, and I think this is the last thing I have to show you. Um, I've had this for a long time. I think I might actually. This is an almost empty. This is the Urban, Urban Decay Primer Potion in the original. I've had this for so long. I don't even remember how long I've had this. I bought this with. I bought this with. My. No, I didn't buy it with my um, Naked palette, but like I think I bought it soon after. It's almost empty. I think I might use this for swatches because I get the feeling that I've used this for so long that it's like, it's making my eyeshadow come out patchy sometimes. So other primers that I'm trying to get through right now, like I have my Spashmox primer and I have a couple of Lorac, Lorac primers and a NARS primer. I have a lot of primers for the eyes. But this is this is obviously a classic. This is a great one. And if I think I, if I were to ever repurchase them, I'm gonna try the Eden one, because I don't think uh, the original really canceled out the color in my eyes well enough. Um, but yeah, primer potion. It's a classic. 
Oh, look at this old school packaging, guys. It's this is a it's just a squeezy tube. Like the new ones, I believe, come with like a little brush. But yeah, that's how you know how old that is. <laughs> I might use this just for swatches as a primer, you know. And that is it. Finally, we got through all the stuff. My hands are so dirty because I was digging through some trash for the past half hour. I hoped you enjoyed watching this super gigantic empties video. My first ever empties video. Let me know what I should replace my products with down below. Um, let me know if you liked it. And yeah, just ask me anything down in the comments, whatever you want. I'll answer. <laughs> That's the good thing about small YouTubers is that if you ask a question down in the comments, they're gonna have time to answer you. So if you got questions, ask down in the comments. Thanks again. It was fun hanging out with you. Empty's video. See you next time. Bye.